God oftentimes gives us promises the exact same way. He sees the circumstances, the problems that we're in, and he wants to give us a revelation. King James uses the word vision in the same context. Write down the vision. Make it plain on tablets. For the vision awaits an appointed time. And what God wants to do is reveal to us a vision for an appointed time that we can write down and be encouraged to remember, hand it to others so they can pray for us and to also encourage us and pass it along so that people have have hope beyond the scope of what they see now. How many know you can only see so far ahead? They say from the Hancock Sears Tower, what, you can see 20 miles, 30 miles on a good day? How many know you can only see so many miles in your own life? You can only see but the few trees. It's hard to see the forest. It's hard to see where the plan is going. It's hard to understand where me and these six kids are going with my wife. It's hard to understand how my doctorate's going to work out for good because I feel like I'm in the cemetery, not the seminary. It's hard to understand how all these things are going to work for good, but how many know God sees it? How many know there's an appointed time for everything you're going through? And so what God wants to do is give you vision, a little taste of it right now. He wants to do a little peekaboo with the future and say, peekaboo, look at here. He wants you to be able to peer in and get a taste of it so you don't get discouraged. 